Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is Evie Francis. Yes, on this particular tutorial, we are going to learn how to design a restaurant menu flyer like this. Now, let us go to our Photoshop and let's get it down. On this particular design, we are going to use a size of A4. So I'm just going to click on create new document where I'll just insert in that particular size, which is A4 size. That is the normal paper size that we are going to use to do this particular design. You heard that. So over there, I'm just going to head over to print. That is where I can find A4, which is here. Then I'll click on that. Then when I click on that, over there, process details. I'm just going to change the distance to restaurant, restaurant, restaurant menu, like that. Okay, then I'm just going to click create. Yes, then when I have something like this, the first thing I'm going to do over here is to come up with a background. On this on this particular design, I'm just going to give you a background of very simple one, which is going to be black, where I can also maybe change it later or i can change it for different different designs as well you get that so first of all i have this the next thing again i'm going to do is to go to a rectangular tool over here then i'll come and pick a little so that recycle tool over there then i'll just click on that sorry i'll just click on that just like that and then what i need to do is to hold my shift so that i'll just draw something like this over here and then when i draw something like this i'm going to change the color to what to this particular color which is what yellow if you hear that then all what i need to do is to move it to somewhere here just like that and then i'll duplicate it by control j just like that and then that one i'm just going to change the color to white and then what i need to do over here is that i'm going to hold shift alternate so that i'll just push it in a little bit just like that then i'll have it just like that the next thing again i'm going to do is to Hold shift to select it in the layer panel over here just like that and then i'll click ctrl j i'll type ctrl j uh, sorry ctrl uh, gene to do what to group it so grouping it i'll call this one one then i'll duplicate it by ctrl j again and then i'll move that one to somewhere here and then i'll hold shift alternate and then i'll reduce it a little bit sorry i'm just going to reduce it a little bit just like that then that one i'll let it come somewhere here just like that and then i'll try and move it a little bit just like that and the next thing again i'm going to do is to duplicate it again by ctrl g and then that one i'll move it to somewhere here just like that and then i'll try and reduce that one to a little bit just like that okay and then this one i'll rename it two and then this one i'll name it three so i have this kind of things over there so the last one over there i'm just going to move this somewhere here so that it will close up in that particular place you get that so the next thing again i'm going to do over there is the i'm just going to do some adjustment on it just like that and then that looks cool for me and the next thing again i'm going to do i'm going to to my rectangular tool then i'll pick this particular rectangular tool over here and then i'll just draw something like this over there and this particular distance is just going to be the what is going to be the logo that i'm going to put there you get that maybe the customer logo or anything then i'll have it just like that then over here i'm just going to move it a little bit just like that so that i'll have some kind of curve this thing over there and then i'll move it to the top just like that and then i'll reduce the opacity a little bit so that it will appear somehow it will be transparent somehow transparent over there you get that and then i'll have it just like that the next thing again i'm going to do is to go to my resources file over here where i'm just going to pick some kind of images that i wish to use the customer details and all that you get that so the first thing i'm going to do is to pick this one that is one and then i'll put it over here and the one is for this particular uh, this thing i'll just place it here just like that now i'll right click and rasterize it so that i can use it then I'll bring it to the one. It should be at the one circle over there. And then I'll right click and do what? And create a clipping mask over there. Just like that. Okay. The next thing again I'm going to do is to come over and then pick two. The two. Okay. I'm going to pick two. And then I'll just put it somewhere here. 
just just like that and then the two let me see this one is three so this one should go somewhere here just like that and then i'll have it just like that and then i'll right click and create a clipping mask in there then i'll move it to somewhere here but what i need to do over here is that i'm going to right click again and rasterize it and i'll hold my uh, alternate and just transform it a little bit inner so that that particular chicken will appear very very well for me yes just like that okay then i'll have it just like that the next thing again i'm going to do is to head over and then pick this one three and that one should be on the last one over there you get that and then that one i'll move it over there and then i'll do what i'll right click and rasterize it then i'll bring it to the two over there and then i'll right click and create a clipping mask in then i'll have it just like that very beautiful now the next thing again i'm going to do is to come over to my resources file over here all this has been used then i'll open my information over here and then i'll just do copy and paste so i'm just going to copy this one and then i'll paste it to the logo side which is here then i'll just paste it i'm just going to paste it over there just like that and then i'll bring it to the top then i'll just do adjustment by reducing the size a little bit so that it will go in to that particular distance just like that then i'll have it just like that over there just like this and then i'm going to change the color to the same color over there which is yellow and then i'll try and make it somehow wide up so that it will wide up for me for people to see very very clear you get it then i'll have it just like that and then the opacity i'll increase it a little bit so that the logo over there will appear very well for me as we can see you get that so the next thing again i'm going to do over there is that i'm going to pick this one restaurant the restaurant menu and then with that one i'm just going to paste it over here just like that and then i'll try and reduce the size a little bit so that it will go inner just like that over here and then i'm going to change the the font on this particular list i'm going to change your font over there maybe i may use two or three fonts here uh on this particular design but i'm just going to try and use a font that is not exceeded to four so i'm going to use this particular font uh marvelin and then uh marvelin okay marvelin will be okay for me then i'll have it just like that all right and then i'll try and reduce the size a little again to somewhere 12 just like that let me zoom it out then you see then i'll have it just like that and then i'll head over and then pick this one good food good life and then that one should also come beneath that restaurant menu over there so i'm just going to paste it i'm just going to paste that one too over there just like that and then i'll change the the, the font over there back to that uh, uh this particular uh oxen uh this thing font which is this okay yes so this one will be okay for me and then over there i'm just going to change the color to white just like that and then let me zoom out and then i'll place it somewhere here and then this one i'll increase it a little bit to 14 and then i'll increase this one to a little bit and then i'll increase it a little bit again just like that then it should be somewhere here so it's just about the composition on this when you do the composition very well we see that your design too will be very very good and then i'll head over and pick this one the restaurant food menu so the restaurant food menu i'm just going to paste it somewhere here just like that and then on that one too i'm just going to change the font to that same uh marveling this way just like that and then i'll try and do what and increase the size to be somehow bigger big or not big yes then i'll have it just like that and then i'll pick the restaurant name on this i just create my own abm restaurant over there and then i'll let that one to come somewhere here and then what i need to do over here is that 
I'm just going to make it um uh APM restaurant. I think it has spelled but because I want it to be in small letters. Yes, and I'm gonna have it just like that. And then I'll just do the 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 word. I'm just going to wide it up a little bit. Uh, let me use 200. Okay, 200 will be okay for me. Then I'll use it this way. And then I'll move it a little bit to the top, just like that. You get that. And then let me do my saving uh before I'll just crash up on the way. Then I'll have it just like that. You get that? Yes. So the next thing again I'm going to do is to come up with this uh, fufu to save fried rice. So I'm just going to pick a rectangular tool over here. Then I'll just draw something like this. Not that big, not that small. Then just like that. And then over that one, I'm just going to make the color to the same color over here, which is yellow. And then I'll have it just like that. And then I'll try and make it this way one three on top one three seven and then on top dead on top uh right side to one three seven just like that then i'll have it just like that and then what i need to do is to just copy it and copy it over here so this one should go this way okay then i'll have it just like that then i'll just position it very very well should be accepted and then I'll come and pick Fufu. I'll copy it Fufu over there. And then I'll just paste Fufu over here. Just like that. And then I'll move it on this. And then I'll change the color to black. Just like that. But however, over there too, I just want to make it um, small letters. Because the fonts, when you make the fonts... Uh, capital it looks different and when you make a small letter it also looks different so i'll just have it just like that and then i'll try and increase the size a little bit let's say 30 will be okay and then i'll come over and pick two zafi over, over there just like that and then i'll paste that one too over there just like that then i'll move it somewhere here and then i'll reduce the size a little bit let me zoom out so that you see you see this is in capital form so i'm just going to make it a uh, small letters so zafi sorry just like that and then i'll copy it to this side and then on that one i'm just going to call it fried rice okay fried rice that's nice and then um let me increase the size a little bit uh, 16 okay 18 will be okay and then over here too i'm just going to make it 18 and then over here too i'll make it 18 so that to go in line okay i think this one so let me make it uh this okay and then what i need to do over here is that on this on this and this that's a uh, two i'm just going to make it a little bit i'm just going to resize it and then this i'll let it go on top just like that then i'll have it just like that and then all this i'm just going to uh group it and then i'll call it food title you know when you make your distance somehow it makes your work very easy and then i'll just come and pick a text tool over here and then i'll just give something like that I'll just click and drag so that I'll have something like this so that a random text will just appear for me just like that and then I'm just going to make it white that particular random text you see it just appeared and then when it appears just like that I'm just going to change the font um, to okay let me use a uh, TW cent month and then I'll make the this thing a little bit yes just like that and then i'll make it left array for the alignment then i'll have it just like this over there you get that so but let me try and make the widen up to be wide up a little bit like yes just like that then i'll have it just like that and then sorry widen up okay i'll just have a something like this and then i'll just copy it 
I'll just copy it and move it to this side. Provided those details are there, we just need to put it. But this is just how to show you to do a restaurant menu very easy as you think. Then I can have it just like that. You get that? Yes. So the next thing again I'm going to do is to pick a rectangular tool again. Then I'll just draw something like this over there. And then I'll change the color to this same color over there. And then I'll move that one to the top over here just like that. You get that? Yes. So as you can see, our design is just getting to the end just like that. So it now left with this and this. So I'm just going to copy it. The let's talk contact that's the contact us then i'll have something like this over there okay and then on that i'm just going to make it the same color over there and then i'll zoom out and move it to the top and then on this side i'm just going to make it curve like this one side i'm just going to curve one side just like that and then i'll paste in I'm just going to paste in uh, the let's talk contact over there and then I'm just going to change the color to black and then I'll let it be somewhere here and then I'll increase the size a little bit so that it can do what it can be seen uh, 18 then widen up to somewhere 18 and then I'll make it bold so that it will appear very very well for me just like that you get that so the next thing again I'm going to do is to come up, copy it, location, just like that. And then the location to I'm just going to paste it over here. And then I'll try and change the color to this color. And then I'll let it be somewhere here, just like that. And then I'll try and increase the size a little bit so that it will match up with this all right and then on this thing i'm just going to move it a little bit so that it will just move um this one and then this one to come somewhere here that look good then i can have it just like that you get that yes so this is how a restaurant menu is being designed with abn graphics and then if you wish you can also try and change the color to any color that you wish that could work with you when you use this it's beautiful this color is beautiful and when you use green it, that one too is beautiful uh, when you use any kind of this thing it will work well with you you get that yes so any color that you wish to put in is beautiful when you use this it looks so good and as you can see and then when you use the black too it's very beautiful and then when you try and use uh this kind of uh deep red that one too is beautiful so this is beautiful this is beautiful this too is beautiful thank you very much for watching this is avian graphics and have a nice day bye bye